Hi YouTube, this is I Want That Hair and this is my contest entry for Tall Black Beauty and she wants to know what inspired me to want to be a diva. Um, I don't really consider myself a diva but sometimes when you guys leave me comments on my video you guys say oh diva you rocking that diva all gone diva and so you know so I said okay she's you know a beautiful young lady and uh, I enjoy watching her video so I wanted to enter her contest and of course I want to win so but also I will, who inspired me or who do I look think look up as a diva as far as hair makeup clothes and stuff like that is um this a lot of you guys probably wouldn't think of this as being a diva but I pretty much I've been raised in church pretty much all my life been going to church and as a child I would always we would visit different types of churches, Baptist churches, Church and God in Christ churches, while we would watch church on TV. And who would really, 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 really look like divas? I'm messing up. This is the third time I'm trying to do this video because my kids want to make all this noise. Who would it would be? It would be the first lady in a church, okay? When you go to your Baptist churches, or your Church of God at Christ churches, if even if you watch them on TV, you even to this day, I know a lot of times they're a little more relaxed, and don't have to dress all up too much, but the first lady, a lot of times they still, you know, kind of keep their stuff together. You will see them with these big old hats on, these big old gigantic hats that, you know, you little kid, I'm trying to look behind, see what's going on, but you'll see them with these big, beautiful hats with all kind of rhinestones or diamonds or sequins, whatever they would have on it. It may be shaped this way, going that way, going that way, some covered up their eyes, some up, some down, you know, but it'll be nice, big old hat. Like, for example, they, it may be pink, but they would have that matching hat, matching their bomb suits, them bath suits. They have the same detailing accessories that they have when they have will be on their suit as well. They, I mean, the suits might be cut this way, you know what I'm saying? You know, might have a button over here, a big old button with a big old brooch cutting that way, double-breasted, single-breasted. They might have it cut off at the shoulder. And then they'll have the bomb, nice little earrings to match and a nice necklace, diamond, or rhinestone, costume, jewelry, whatever, necklace to match it. And then, you know, they'll have them matching shoes. Ooh, some of them be open toe, the heel, big old stilettos, you know, the, the back out, or the open toe, like I said, or maybe satin-like. You know, or maybe diamonds, all rhinestones, see-through, kind of Cinderella-looking shoes, you know. And then the stock is to match. And then they'll have a matching purse to match that hat and that outfit. Ooh, a nice be like, oh, ooh, I want to dress like that. I want to be like that. When I was a kid, I said, ooh. So as I got older, I do actually do got a few outfits like that. I sure do. Sometimes I dress up for church. But the hats, uh, I haven't quite gotten to know hats and nothing like that. So, you know, of course, also with their makeup, makeup would be just nice and so, you know, some of them will wear the eyelashes on. Some of them will wear a lot of makeup. Well, I don't know. Or whatever. But anyway, that's what kind of inspired me. I think, you know, I look up as divas. And then also, too, by the minute, first lady, they knew what to say how to say it, you know, literally standing behind, you know, right beside their husband, which is a pastor or whatever, and just pretty much just, you know, looking like just the perfect lady who just couldn't do any wrong. So to me, that's who I would consider a diva, and that's who I would, I would look up in, as a diva, you know. And as well, you know, I wasn't really, um, you know, I wasn't really into a whole lot of hair and makeup and this and that. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? I'll take that back. Maybe not really hair and wigs. I just started getting to the wigs maybe about two years ago by an accident. It's because I had to go to one of my nephew's graduation and my, my own hair was jacked up and it was a need a quick situation that need to go down real quick on his hair. So I went to a beauty shop store and they had a wig on sale for like $9.99. It was an ugly wig because after I look back at the picture, give me a minute. After I look back at the picture, pictures, oh my goodness, it was like a bright, bright red wig. <laughs> it, I was like, oh no. So, for a while, then I started wearing wigs for my own hair, this and that. And then, um, I always did like makeup. Um, I didn't always know how to put it on right, you know, until I started watching a lot of ladies here on YouTube start getting different tips. 
these are like, to me, million dollar tips. I'm like, wow, man, you do that, you do this, and then you, wow, you get this result. So, you know, this YouTube is like a good outlet. I mean, there's plenty of divas on here as well that, that inspired me. And um, I don't want to start naming a whole bunch of names, but it's, it's quite, a, quite a few ladies on, on here on YouTube who, and, you know, who I consider to be divas, so a whole lot. So, you know, but as far as, you know, my childhood and this and that is remembering is the, uh, the first ladies, you know, as being divas. So this is basically my contest entry for Talk Black Beauty. Um, hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you all for watching, and you have a wonderful day. Bye.